welcome of UFC Unlimited Fight Channel. Coming up next, a UFC welterweight division matchup. So we get another look at this high-level wrestler here tonight, DC. When it comes to the grappling, the wrestling, fighting this guy makes for a really hard night at the office. It makes for a hard night because the moment he gets close to you, it's like a fly stuck in fly paper. He sticks to you like glue. He moves from position to position seamlessly. He possesses great takedowns from the clinch, from a nice inside trip to a bear hug or a throw. He's just one of those guys that the moment he comes into contact with you, his lifetime of wrestling has shown him an amazing ability to get you to the floor. Yeah, all of that one-on-one -on -one competition, as you mentioned, great in transition. Big spot, needless to say, for him here tonight. Well, this is exciting here, DC. The founder of Jeet Kune Do, one of the founding fathers, really, of mixed martial arts. Bruce Lee is back in a big spot here tonight. Bruce Lee is what every kid looked to when they thought about doing karate. Bruce Lee is the person that anyone looked at when they said, I want to be a fighter. It was the speed. It was the charisma. It was the approach of Bruce Lee that made him so special. And tonight, he's going to look to show a new generation of fighters exactly how it's supposed to be done. And if you hear the phrase, drillers make killers, right? I mean, that was Bruce Lee in a nutshell. He felt like practice yes. would make yes. perfect. Nobody trained as hard as the great Bruce Lee. Our tale of the tape for this highly anticipated welterweight fight. Two years apart, these two fighters, with big differences in height, but some differences in reach. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the Octagon, Dan Mergliata. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the sold-out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City, Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Amsterdam, the Netherlands, bad intention. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 170 pounds. Fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! All right, going through the rules of the locker room. I want you to obey my commands at all times, protect yourself at all times. I want a nice, clean, safe fight. Touch gloves, match your arms, my fight. against a guy that can do just about everything inside the octagon. Table answers right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the channel. Body closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. There's no give on that leg kick. Unable to connect there. Really making good use of his reach advantage there with that punch. And they separate. 
beautiful strike. Just over three minutes now to go. Oh, blocks the shot. Just misses with the straight left hand. Well, straight right hand has been a good weapon for him. He misses with it there. It's such a fast leg kick. Oh! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish the fight. Got a single power tie. Lee's strike attempt there is blocked. Both guys landing in a pretty decent clip. goes in and secures the takedown. All right, so inside the open guard of his opponent. You gotta be careful playing around for too long here on the ground with this guy. Well, he's more than content to work off of his back, DC, where he has been a magician in his UFC career. All right, bottom fighter here, maybe looking to hip escape, DC. Close guard. Less than a minute to go now in our opening round. 45 seconds to go here in round one. Oh, nice work from the bottom. Tags him with the punch. Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold, and it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him. Know when, when to hold, hold him. him. Yeah, absolutely. That horn sounds means we have reached the end of round one. All right, so we now look back at some of the action from that previous round, DC. A lot of good highlights on both sides. I mean, a lot of good highlights from both competitors. They both should be very proud of what they accomplished. But I'm telling you, man, I'm not sure they can keep this up. If they land at this clip for another five minutes, somebody's going to sleep. All right, here we go with our next round. A lot to be happy about in that previous round. He was attacking the head at will, and until his opponent adjusts, might as well go back to it. There was no negative to him headhunting. Most times the coaches yell, don't headhunt, don't headhunt. I'm yelling headhunt if right, I'm his corner. Right. Because every time he's thrown, he's landing. Trying to hammer that lead leg. Oh, beautiful jab by him there. Really taking advantage of what is an obvious edge and reach. Flips the punch nicely there. All right, single collar tie now. Back and forth we go! Lee got caught by that elbow, or so it appeared. Yes, he did. Big powerful punch land. Now he gets back to range. Very tricky when he throws that body kick. Look at him working at trying to shut the liver down. I need you to attention. Oh! Huge kick to the head. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Oh, nice job to land a knee to the body. Man, I wish I was that tall. Oh, strong punch there by Lee. Just missed with the left there. Oh, and there's that head kick. He kept talking about the opening that would be there on Thursday. Those words proving prophetic right there. I mean, his vision and his timing allows him to get that technique off. Body kick is blocked. Right hand punch with the clinch. Oh, Superman punch! Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? He's 
been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combinations, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Round three next. Well, what a round it was, especially from a striking standpoint. DC, take us through. High-level striking. I mean, this is what people come through the doors to see. Two men stand on a quarter, chest to chest, forehead to forehead, and let it all fly. I'm surprised nobody went out, but it does excite me for the next round. Get back out here and work on that cut. Slice broke and good. There's a lot of blood. You can't go much longer with a cut like this. We need a finish of you ready? You ready? Let's Third round ahead. underway. Well, he continues to land a high number of strikes here, just like he did in the previous round. This is a world-class display of striking here tonight. Dig and kick. Oh, significant strike attempt there, but a huge block. Good. And both fighters exchange in the pocket. Oh, wow. Oh. And this might just be a matter of time. Close guard now. You gotta be careful though. He's got a lot of submissions off his back. All right, he's very comfortable fighting off his back, DC. Now looks like he's trying to hip escape. Yeah, he's trying to hip escape or maybe look for a Kimura here. Well, pretty good work off of the bottom here by Lee. Well, you know, I don't like the gi very much, but I have an appreciation and a healthy one for these type of transitions. You can tell he's been in the gi at some point in his life with the way that he moves so freely. I'm skipping jujitsu next week, too. <laughs> Oh, he's got the ground and pound going now. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. He has a commitment to ticket tonight, and it shows. Oh! Some really significant damage to the body here. Another strike lands there. Oh, he landed a beautiful straight punch there, DC. He's got an edge in reach and certainly is making it count in this one. Beautiful leg kick throw. Nice loose punch. Yeah, he's mixing it all up. Oh, a huge block there. And a nice job at least staying upright on that. Misses with that punch. Lee gets tagged with a kick now. Let's see if he can wrap. Oh, we're getting a finish here. Back out here, work on that cut. Deep breath and relax. There's a lot of blood. Cut you open good. All right, here we go. Next round is underway. You saw him work his submission game a bit in the previous round, and he is all offense, man. He's not afraid to get into a bad position to try to close off. Most times, we don't see guys that attack as much off of their back. This guy never had any place to rest. Timely defense there, huge block for him. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Boy, tie plump. Good 
Connects with a right. Nice head kick. Oh, he lands another strike to the body. He just continues to punish his opponent's midsection here in this round. Got clip with a right hand. Look at him chopping the wood. Chop the wood with those leg kicks. Takedown defense holds up. Oh, he's wearing it now, bleeding from his cheek. Then he comes through with a big knee. Look at the turn on that kick. Really timing his shots nicely. Good tempo, very accurate, finding the range with relative ease. Yeah, he's doing a great job of really overwhelming his opponent with that case. He's really good. He's got a good here. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh, and another leg kick lands flush, and now you're starting to see visible damage on that lead leg of his opponent. Visible damage, and you see him starting to make mistakes now in his defenses because his leg... So at long last, he finally lands his first takedown after several failed attempts. You knew coming in that he was going to stay committed to the takedown, kept on trying, and finally got him to the ground. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. Oh, this is where you don't want to be, though. All right, we'll see if he can apply pressure inside his opponent's guard here, DC. Keep it busy here off of his back. Nice offense from the bottom. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. All right, so you gotta be careful playing on the ground with this guy. You don't wanna mess around for too long. Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work by Lee. Man, DC, his hands look good. A Lot of volume, a lot of accuracy tonight. He's doing a great job being accurate, but he's also very fast. Look at the hand speed, right? Lee gets caught with that punch. He's treading water now. He's gotta find a way to move those feet. Big power shot there. All right, so a big round for him there. Maybe even a 10-8. There was a big knockdown in there, courtesy of the kick. DC, talk us through it. He found his spot. I mean, he knew that there was a weakness. He found the spot. He recognized an opportunity to go and chase down that head kick. He threw it, it landed, and he almost got the finish. Here we go, fifth and final round. Can't take me to lose, better check. Thank you. Checks that leg kick. I mean, he's cutting them down to size with these beautiful leg kicks. Oh, body kick attempt here, it's no good. That was good, man. Nice strike. Nice sneaky head kick. Leg kick checked by Lee. Oh! Dude's good. Serve him up. We'll get him. Oh, both. Both landed. Duffs the takedown, no problem. Back and forth we go here! Nice strike. Nice defense there, huge block. Good series of strikes by him there. Great job of mixing it up, staying active, keeping busy, doing great work. And a nice jab there, champ. The jab was a lost art in mixed martial arts. Guys have found it. And they are fighting behind it real well. Two minutes now to go in this one. 
still unable to find that precise range with the high kick. Well, it's all pace and pressure down the stretch. He is really lighting him up now. All right, late in the fight now, he needs a finish or he's gonna lose this fight tonight. We'll see if he goes for it. I mean, he's gotta pull out all the stops. There is no more strategy. There is no more time to try to set up a punch. You gotta just start letting everything fly. Big kick lands. How good is that right hand? 45 seconds remain in the round. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Oh, massive knee to the head. We'll see if he can follow up. He went high on that one. 15 seconds remain in the round. Out of range with that one. What a fight! All right, so the fight goes the distance. We'll take a look back at the action, but should go his way given all he got done in the striking game. Yeah, he did a great job of landing at will, mixing up the target, doing everything that he's become known for in order to cruise to a very good decision. I know he didn't get the finish that he wanted so bad coming in here tonight, but he had a phenomenal performance, and he showed that he's one of the best fighters in the world. How the judges saw it. Here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after five rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score the contest 50 45. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bruce the Dragon Lee. All right, congratulations to him. He is your winner by unanimous decision and certainly a dominant performance here tonight. Yeah, he did a great job of just dictating and controlling all the engagements of this fight. His opponent never really had an opportunity to lead the dance. He did that from start to finish, and he wins a unanimous.